Hello, I'm Mark Hunter, The Sales Hunter. I wrote the book, A Mind for Sales, and so much of what we're dealing with today in the middle of this pandemic really has to do with our mind. There's a tremendous amount of business out there, but we have to be flexible and be willing to adapt to go find it. I'm gonna share with you right now 10 steps as to how to close sales faster in a pandemic. I do encourage you to hit subscribe because I put a new video out like this every week. Let's walk through 10 steps how to close sales faster in a pandemic. Number one, simple. Keep it simple for your customers. This is not the time to get into complex sales process. This is not the time to get into major, major deals that are going to take years to close and take multiple people. If people are working in a work from home environment, it's harder to get people together. So you have to keep everything in your sales process, everything in what you sell simple to allow the person or maybe the two people you're speaking to, to be able to make a decision fast. Two, focus on your ICP, your ideal customer profile. More than ever right now, you have to stay tight. You have to stay focused. It is too easy to go chase the shiny object for the sake of trying to find business. But you know what? When you get outside your lane and you're dealing with people who are not your ICP, it's going to take you a lot longer for you to understand them, for them to understand you. And it's going to slow down the process. Stay in your lane. Stay focused on your ICP. Number three, fast prospecting. What is fast prospecting all about? That means you got to double down and triple down the speed with which you're interacting with customers. This is not the time to sit there and say, well, you know, I'll continue to, to reach out to them every month. No, it's not. You have to take whatever your process was, cut it in half in terms of time and double the contacts. You have to be fast prospecting. If you were normally saying, well, I reach out to my prospects every two weeks. No, it's every week. If you're saying every week, it's now every three days. You have to be speed. Speed sells. Number four, narrow the solution. Too many times what happens is we get a customer engaged and we're talking to them and we start throwing out all of these ideas as to what they can, all these things that they're going to be able to accomplish. This is not the time to be selling world peace. This is not the time to be selling that, hey, I got the solution for hunger. No, this is the time to narrow the solution and help the customer achieve that one specific outcome that they're looking for. Number five, shorten the ROI. Now, remember this, Customers don't want to be sold. I don't even think they want to buy. What they want is they want a return on their investment. They want to invest. What I want to do is I want to show customers how when you buy from me, how you invest with me, I'm going to be able to show you a return on your investment. In other words, when you buy this, you're going to be able to get value back immediately. I have to do everything possible to shorten the ROI because things are just too unstable as we look long-term. Number six, limit the options. When you do get to that point where you're putting solution, you know, you're putting out, you know, things out on the table, don't, don't say, well, hey, why don't you pick from one of 18 different items? This is not the time to play buffet. No, no, you limit the options. Anytime you put too many options out on the table, you will automatically slow the decision-making process because the customer is going to say, ah, I need to think more about this. So I want to put two, no more than three options out on the table. Number seven, trust. You see, one of the reasons I can only put, or I only have to put two or three options out on the table is because you've created trust in me. Trust is without a doubt absolutely key. Everything in your sales process must be geared around helping the customer understand that they can trust you because you trust them. You see, confidence starts in the listening and the respect. Confidence creates integrity. Integrity is a really a, a sister or brother of trust. The greater the level of trust you have, the faster the customer will be willing to make a decision with you. Number eight, two-way street. You ever driven down a two-way street? Notice that there are cars on the other side. And they're coming at you at the opposite direction. Now, what does two-way street mean when it comes to helping 
you close sales faster. You have to understand that there's going to be give and there's going to be take. But you have to understand that you stay in your lane. This does not mean that you give the customer everything the customer wants. No, not at all. You do not do that. You stay in your lane. But you understand that there may be wiggles and shakes that you have to be prepared for. And that's okay. Number nine, land and expand. I want you to put this on your computer. I want you to put this on your phone. I want you to put this land and expand. Your objective is to make it so simple for your customer to do business with you that you land that new customer. And once you land that new customer, then you expand. Then you expand. Then you begin building into and getting them into additional ways. But you have to create that initial sale first. Number 10, value your time. Your time is your most prized resource. It's not what you sell, it's not your customer, it's your time. And what you have to do then is you have to go back through this list, the preceding nine, and say, where do I need to change things? Because the way I'm gonna help close sales faster is when I understand the value of my time and how priceless it is. Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Great selling.